One day you're in charge of making sure your kids get their homework done and the next day you're in charge of their entire education. This can be stressful and overwhelming for everyone, but it doesn't have to be. In this video, I'm gonna share my homeschooling tips to help you get through this time. Hey guys, it's Vani from Mrs. Mom's Homeschool and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I make homeschooling and motherhood videos, so if you're interested in that content, check out my playlist for more and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to give my top five tips as a homeschooling mom to those newly forced to homeschool due to the coronavirus outbreak. Tip number one, kids need time to adjust to new things. One day they're sitting in the classroom with their friends and teachers everyone's doing homework together everyone's doing lessons together everyone's doing assignments together and suddenly they're home all day as a homeschooling mom when i first started homeschooling it was an adjustment for my kids to get into the homeschooling group even for those who had never done public school before they're still home all day they're with you to them this is their home their sanctuary they want to be in the kitchen all day eating they want to if they're little they want to play with their toys they, if they're teenagers they want to play on their phone the last thing they're thinking about when they're home is doing school the first thing i suggest that you do is to sit your kids down and explain to them your expectations for what will be going on during this time of online homeschool making sure they understand that their schoolwork at home is just as important as it was when they were in the classroom tip number two is to set a schedule or a routine having the kids come to do homework every day at the same time sets them up for more success in the morning their minds are fresher right after they've had a good breakfast they don't have too much energy from being cooped up all day in the house yet. I usually give my kids um, time to, to play and hang out in the morning for the first hour. As I'm cooking breakfast, they eat breakfast, they get to hang out and play for a little bit before we start school to get some of that night, you know, that energy out from sleeping all night. But then after that, it's time for school. So setting that time, a certain time of day, whether it's 9, 10, 11 o'clock, whatever works for you, I think the earlier the better. But having a set routine is gonna help them to know what to expect each and every day. Remember also though, that when they're in school, they're in school for seven hours or so, and when they're home, they should be able to get their work done in just a few hours. So when you're creating your routine and your schedule, keep in mind what you want the rest of that day to look like. Tip number three is to set rules. There should also be a family meeting or at that family meeting that is held where you let your kids know what is expected. This should include behavior rules because let's face it, when you're cooped up in the house, people start getting attitudes, kids start, you know, siblings start bothering each other, especially if you guys are not used to being together all day long. There definitely can be some friction and some conflict. So make sure you're setting rules for behavior, setting rules for screen time, setting rules for outside play time setting rules for whatever it is that you need in your house and also when you're doing your during your homeschooling hours let's say you set two to three hours depending on the age of your child to do school in the morning making sure that there's scheduled times for meals and snack time because if not your kids will be at the refrigerator all day long well at least mine are when you're setting rules make sure you're setting consequences ahead of time and letting them know what the consequences are if they break specific rules that way if they do break those rules they're actually choosing to have the consequence laid upon them and they can't really get mad at you tip number four is to be patient this is just a, t a temporary time right now whether it's for a few weeks or even a few months or the rest of the school year it's still going to be temporary so remember although it's totally new for you and it may be stressful helping your kid do their homework or uh, teaching kids at home can be very stressful depending on your situation so you have to be very patient with them because this is new for them too they're not used to being home all day they're, they're used to seeing their friends they're used to getting out of the house they're used to having time with, with other people they're used to things being totally different just like you are but you being the adult you're the one who has to be patient with them through this process and make it as fun as possible which leads me to my final tip which is to make memories you don't want this to be a time where they remember that they everybody dreads oh god i had to homeschool that time it was horrible um my mom was always yelling at me or <laughs> whatever it is make the best memories because this is the time if you're home and you're able to spend that time with your kids make sure you're enjoying it and you guys are creating good memories so that when the time number one that'll make the time go by faster it'll make it more enjoyable 
and when it's over you guys have had some good memories to look back upon if you guys need I know that everybody has their online schools but if you need extra curriculum ideas if you need to want to see what a homeschool day in the life could look like or what it looks like in different families make sure you check out all my playlists in the description below as long as the cards above when I posted them and at the end of this video making sure that you check those out if you need any other advice or tips thank you guys so much for watching and I wish you all the best of luck